be preparing for a watch party. Some fans had a chance to have a party of their own before Penn State plays in the Citrus Bowl tomorrow. Let's send it down to sports director Peter Terpstra, who joins us from Florida with more. Hey, Pete. So all the ruckus is over. He had a big time pep rally for Penn State here at Point Orlando earlier in the day. You're going to see that coming up at 11. But today we get to bring you something special. We caught up with Penn State Athletic Director Sandy Barber earlier today. Now she said she has agreed to a new contract with Penn State and it's her quote last stop. The contract has has to be approved by the Board of Trustees and whenever it's official we're going to let you know. Overall across Penn State they want to win titles and that could start with bringing in some money. Football drives the train. Drives it emotionally, drives it financially, um, but we kind of like to win in volleyball and hockey and wrestling and soccer and, and you know so on and so forth down down the line. And uh, that's going to take a lot of resources. Uh, and some of it is uh, are, are resources that that we're creating from ticket sales and from corporate sponsorship and from the Big Ten uh, network uh, media contracts. But a lot of it's going to be on the back of the future. All right, so Sandy Barber spoke on a variety of topics today. We're talking parking when it rains at home football games. We're talking renovations to Beaver Stadium. If you want to hear what she has to say, kind of a state of the program for Penn State, you can go to wearecentralpa.com right now. Go to the Nittany Nation tab, and you can see it then. Reporting from Orlando, Peter Terpstra for Nittany Nation. Thank you.